Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I've been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general general test, the tenth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that you that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 135, quantitative comparison question number eight. Let's let's take a look at it. We are told that S, R, S, and T are three consecutive odd integers. R, S, and T are three consecutive odd integers. They have to be consecutive and they have to be odd. For example, they can be 1, 1, 3, 5, they can be 1, 3, 5, they can be 3, 5, 7, but they cannot be 3, 5, and 9. They are, 3, 5, and 9 are not consecutive because after 5 comes 7. So that's what they mean by that. What is it that I'm asked to compare? Well, let's see. What is it, what is it that they're asking? They want us to compare the quantity R plus S plus 1 versus S plus T minus 1. Well, let's see what we can do. Well, the very first thing I'm going to do is I see S on this side, I see S on that side. It plays no role. In, 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 in the process of determining which quantity is bigger, if I tell you which quantity is bigger, uh, 3 plus 5 plus 9 minus 7 versus 2 plus 7 plus 11 uh, minus 7, This minus seven and this minus seven plays no role. It plays absolutely no role because they cancel. They negate each other. They cancel each other out. Whatever quantity this was, you are taking seven away from it, and whatever quantity this was, you're taking seven away from it. So their relative position does not change. We're trying to figure out which, which quantity is bigger or which quantity is less. The seven is not going to play any role. So very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of this annoying s. It plays no role. It plays absolutely no role. So, so basically what it is, what we are asked to compare is the quantity R plus 1. Let me change the color again to black. This is not very legible. R plus 1 versus, versus T minus 1. Let's see what we can do. Well, see, since they're consecutive, since they're consecutive R integers, this number, S, which comes after r is going to be 2 more than r. For example, this is 3, this is going to be 5, this is 2 more, and this is 2 more than s. Therefore, the difference between r and t is 4. So here, you're taking 1 away, so now the difference is only 3, and then you're adding 1 to it, now the difference is 2. This quantity, this quantity is still bigger by 2 units. But if you're unable to see that, let's plug in numbers there, it makes it easier. Let's put in 3, 5, 7. So r plus 1 is going to be 3 plus 1, which is 4 and t, which is 7, minus 1, which is 6. You see, 7 minus 1, which of course is 6. You see what I mean? There is still a difference of 2, because from r to t, the difference is 4 units. s is 2 more than r, because they are consecutive odd integers. Whether they are odd integers or consecutive even integers, that fact is not going to change. Even if they were consecutive even integers, the difference would have been 2 in the consecutive numbers. If they're consecutive even integers, that means 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, therefore two consecutive integers, they are, the difference is 2. By the time you go to the next one, the difference between r and t is 4. And then, so you're taking one away from it, there is still a difference of 3. And then you're adding 1 to this thing, there is still a difference of 2, which is what we see here. The answer is b. It doesn't matter what number you plug in, that fact is not going to change. Even if, you, even if you try out negative numbers, you will see that nothing changes. The fact will still remain that by the time you get to t, the t is 4 more than r. 4 more than r. You subtract 1 from t, that quantity is still 3 more than r. You add 1 to r, this quantity is still 2 more than r plus 1, as you can see right there. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to hire my services, I've lost the cap of this thing. If you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring, 
or if you wish to buy the solution manuals for any other problem in the book, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com, and send me an email. And we'll see what we can do. All right? Thank you very much.